Okay, so this is the line, what is it? It is the line generator for the arcade machine. Um, so it is a VGA line generator. And as you can see here, it just goes in, sorry about the focus. It just goes in with a VGA on one side and a VGA comes out on the other side. Um, and this sits in between should be able to do it so it just plugs straight in and using the one VGA cord hopefully um, that's what I have set up in the arcade machine at the moment this was about $15 15 Australian dollars um, from China but because it was posted in this little bag and that was it it has um, some damage so one of these little dials has fallen off there's supposed to be three and one is broken. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that everything's still right. It's got four little dials here. I'm not sure what they do. It didn't come with any instructions. So we'll see how we go. Um, there might be a little bit of noise in the background. My son is playing on the Xbox at the moment. So um, you might hear a little bit of that. But let's give this a look. Okay, our line generator is going into this World Rally machine. Um, it has recently been converted with an LCD monitor instead of the arcade monitor. Um, looks pretty good, but probably too good, considering the age of this um, arcade game that was trying to look quite 3D. Um, you can notice every little imperfection on it, and some of the colours don't quite seem right. So hopefully one of these will help us out. So we'll switch it on and have a look at it. And then after having a look at it, then I'll show you the back. Um, while it's, there it is, it's going now, but it's just going through the demo. While that's going, um, this one, like a lot of machines that you, if you have them in your house, um, it's good if you can get to all the pieces at the back. So this one is a fairly easy little swap out. And good little tip, if you ever get any big machines in, make them so that they're not too permanent because chances are you're going to be taking them apart all the time. Right, now that we've got the seat separated from the machine, let's have a look at the screen here. And hopefully it shows up on camera if it makes any, um, if it makes any substantial change um, to our screen or our monitor. Hopefully our picture will look a little bit more, I wouldn't say crisp, but uh, uh, hopefully it hides a little bit more of the imperfections there and makes it a little bit look a little bit more old school without having the fuss of um, an arcade monitor to play around with every time i want to try and get in the back there um, they can sometimes be more trouble than they're worth although a lot of people would disagree with that so let's have a look at the back and i'll show you a bit more about or we'll step through a little bit more about what the line generator does Right, we're at the back of the machine. Let's have a look inside. So there is our LCD screen and it actually needs to be, it actually needs to be painted the um, glass, the glass um, screen protector there. All right, so I've got the back open and I have a torch going here so that we can have a look at um, what's inside the back of this machine. Um, we have our jammer board here with the light shining at the moment and then our jammer, jammer harness goes from there and leads to the monitor, the controls, um, the speakers. Wet heads often goes to the monitor. That's where we're going to try to put our line generator. So this has, it already has a conversion on it. Um, this is a, another cheap little converter 
that goes from the jammer board and then changes the signal into a VGA um, signal. So it's a VGA adapter there. Um, it's called, if anybody is interested in that, a CGA EGA YUV to VGA. But I just looked up arcade um, VGA. I think that was it, arcade VGA, and then had a look through all the converters that I could find on eBay. This was a nice cheap option and it works well. Um, so let's see if we can use our line generator with the adapter here. I've been calling this a line generator, but um, really it is a scan line generator. So this did not work out how I had planned. I could not just go from use the one cable um, because of the connections that were on either end. I had to go two VGA cables. I'll be changing that later, I think, because um, it's a lot of cabling to have for such a little device. Um, so I think I'll change that to a, a I'll just put it in a little, um, little conversion piece in there. And I might even show a, I'll try and show a picture of that here as well. So that you can see what I'm going to pop in there to make it a little bit cleaner. Okay, so we have these switches on the side. Um, one of them should be to turn it on. One of them should be the width of the lines. And we'll just have to play them all by ear because I'm not sure what the other two are. And as I said, it didn't come with any instructions. So let's take a look with the machine turned on. Okay, the long cords have worked out well in this case because it means that I can pull it around to the front of the machine to play with it, um, to get every all the settings right. Um, but I'll definitely be changing that once I have it the way I like it. So for now though, it means that I can switch the buttons with me being able to watch the screen in front and seeing if there are any little changes that I can notice. As I said, one of these should be to actually turn the scan line generate on, which is that one. There we go. So there is lines as with the scan line generator off and on. Yep. Mm, not really sure what that switch there does. It might actually change it so that the darker line alternates or the darker line swaps with the lighter line in this instance and then in case there's something in the graphics or the the way your picture looks that you didn't like with the dark line where it was. So it shifts the position, I imagine. I'm not exactly sure. That's what it looks like to my eye. That one is definitely the width. So we have the small lines and the thick lines. And last switch there. So that one turns it, seems to turn it off and on as well. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what that one does at all. Mm, the colour does appear to change a little bit, but... Probably just, it makes the screen darker, but I'm not sure why. Okay, so... With... This is with the... The thin lines. I'm not really noticing... You can see it more in... Oh, come up a little bit closer. And you can notice it a little bit more in person. But it doesn't really make enough of a difference to be worthwhile. I'm just going to change it to the thicker lines again. Hi. And here's with the thicker. Does it make a massive difference? No. Does it hide the imperfections that I'm seeing with the colour um, that would normally be hidden with normal arcade monitor? No, unfortunately. You can still see as the screens change that the actual colours that are represented in the middle here 
Um, you see the streaks of almost a purple, those type of colors come across every now and then. Um, let's see if we can find one. There. There it is. So it flashes just here, there. Um, I was really hoping the scanline generator would hide that, but it does not. Okay, so what I can see so far is that this little switch here is the on-off switch. So when that is in the position towards the um, little dials here, the scanline generator is off and you won't notice anything different pop up on the screen. So that one needs to be on. This one here is the width of the scan lines. This one here seems to be the um, the dial that you use if you want to alternate which line is dark and which line is white. So with this one up um, and if you slide it down you'll notice that when you slide the light lines turn dark and the dark lines turn light. And then so when you just slide it into the position that you like, that's not going to be much help with many games. This one here, I still don't quite understand what that one does. It may have something to do with color um, or the type of monitor, but it doesn't do anything different with my monitor. And then these three dials here are color correction. So where this third one has popped off in transit, um, it's not going to make much of a difference because with the three dials there the way they are, the monitor looks good. I can actually pop that on and adjust it if I want to. They're adjusted with a screwdriver anyway. Um, just makes it a little bit more tricky, but I'm never going to play with those anyway, so that does not really um, bother me too much. So there is the scanline generator. This one is not getting an external power supply. There are ones that you can buy that do. Um, I'm not sure if they have a stronger type of signal or if you can go, well, I'm not really sure what they do over these ones because I don't have one and I wasn't willing to pay the extra dollars for it. I just was hoping for a cheap fix and it's okay. It's not too bad. So it doesn't make a heck of a lot of difference no it does make a noticeable amount of difference um it does clean things up a little bit so you know you get what you paid for you could end up paying a lot more for a scanline generator and probably get a lot more of a lot better picture but in the end this is for a house arcade that gets played by my sons and i mostly um and then not really enough of an incentive to spend a whole heap of money getting the picture absolutely perfect. The picture looks good, it's good enough. Would I recommend the scanline generator? Yeah, but only for the price that I paid. So there was, you can buy them from Australia and they're about double the amount. Um, direct from China, about, as I said, about 15 Australian dollars. Stick with the cheap if you're going to go cheap and get it mighty cheap. Um, if you're going to go expensive, you may end up with a much better result, but might also be a bit of a roll of the dice. So in the end, this looks all right. It will do the trick with the back of the screen being painted in black and having this picture for this machine with the scanline generator yeah it's it's going to do in the house um, you can always upgrade it later you can always put in a new um, arcade monitor in there down the track if you want to i don't i never will um i'm i'm happy with it for the price that i paid not overly not overly impressed but certainly um it is a worthwhile update for the 15 dollars Okay, with the back of the machine back on, this is on wheels. It's always handy to have your machines on wheels, make things a lot easier. If they don't have them, I'd recommend putting them in. Even this light seat is on wheels.
like a glove. Dad? Yeah. How much money do you have? How much money do you have? 